I'm Todd Lewis from Fiasco Sports, reporting for the SA Football Magazine. Today I'm joined by Adam Vittler from the Green Acres Football Club in Division 5, and he's going to do our weekly roundup. So we'll just go through the results from the weekend. Glenunga had a huge win over Elizabeth by 9 goals. Hectorville unfortunately went down to Rosewater by 23 points. Lockley's got over Blackfriars Old Scholars by 4 points. CBC Old Collegians defeated Smithville by 13 points. And Greenacres had a good win over Poultney by 18 points. Obviously, a pretty pleasing result. Yeah, it was. It was. It was a. Um, it was pretty close all day. Sort of, we were out by two or three, maybe most of the day. We just couldn't quite kick away. But uh, they had a bit of a rush at the end of the third quarter. Um, drew level after the three-quarter time siren, and then they kicked the first goal of the last quarter. Um, so yeah, to to fight back and to kick away um, in the last quarter was uh, yeah really good result for us away from home. Yeah, like you said, it's obviously good to know your players can respond after going down in the last quarter. What were some of the keys to that response? Um, oh, our, our gun players stood up when we needed them to stand up in the last quarter. Uh, Pete Smith uh, was terrific around the footy. Uh, Jamal Little probably took three or four big contested marks in the last quarter when uh, we needed him to stand up. And um, yeah, Kai Maniotis off half-back and uh, Michael Wheaton uh, around the footy as well were, were really, really solid now. They're our leaders, and yeah, they stood up uh, when it was there to be won. What were your overall thoughts on Pulteney? Um, yeah, they just stuck at it. They, uh, it seemed to us like they were trying to play a couple of extra players behind the ball uh, to get that overlap run going, um, which was sort of fine by us because it left us with a couple of spares in our back line. Um, so we were just banking on being able to... Um, beat them on transition and yeah when we could could move the footy quick and get it into our forwards um yeah it seemed to work pretty well but uh yeah they were certainly very brave um i know they're a bit undermanned um and uh yeah they've had a tough year but yeah they certainly stuck it out right to the end so yeah it was full credit to them okay we'll just look forward to next week's game uh hectorville take on pulteney obviously got to look at pulteney yesterday yeah, yeah. um hectorville uh play a very structured game um, so yeah they've, they've had a really good year um, like I said Pontney have uh, struggled a bit so you'd have to go for Hectorville in that one. Yeah, CBC Old Collegians take on Lockleys? Uh, CBC have uh, hit a bit of form the last few weeks but I uh, haven't said that Lockleys were really impressive um, when we played them um, yeah it's flip of the coin there I think it's at CBC but um, yeah what I saw from Lockleys they were pretty good I reckon yeah Lockleys in a real close one. Yeah and Blackfriars, Old Scholars take on Elizabeth out at Blackfriars. Um, yeah, I said last time I was on that Blackfriars was the best team that I've seen. Probably haven't uh, seen too much to change my opinion. Um, Elizabeth stitched us up a couple of weeks ago. Um, uh, but yeah, probably, uh, no, not probably, yeah, Blackfriars you'd think would be too strong. Okay. And Glenunga take on Rosewater? Uh, Glenunga are a really high scoring team, uh, they kick, like to kick a lot of goals and move the footy quick um, and Rosewater uh, yeah, uh, knocked off one of the top teams yesterday, but, uh, or Hectorville, and um, yeah, we got over them the week before, so they're a bit up and down. Um, uh, I might go for Glenunga at Glenunga. Okay, and you head back home to take on Smithfield this week, Greenacres versus Smithfield, you'll obviously be hoping to get another victory. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've only got one more away game out of the last five, so we've got a bit of a, uh, a run of home games coming up. So, yeah, Smithfield out there were really tough last time. Um, we let it three-quarter time, but, yeah, they got a bit, a bit of a run on the last quarter. We just couldn't hold on. Um, but, yeah, back at our ground. Um, we've won our last two. We've got a bit of momentum now, so hopefully um, we can finish off the season really strongly and, um, yeah, just keep building on, on the momentum that we've been rolling through last the last couple of weeks. What do you think are the things you still need to work on from last week's games? Obviously, a coach is never completely happy. Yeah, winning uh, winning can paper over the cracks sometimes. Um, yeah, ground balls were a bit disappointing yesterday. Like I said, Pulteney seemed to have a few extra numbers around the ball and maybe that contributed to it, but they uh, they beat us in the ground balls yesterday. So, you know, making sure we're working hard to get front and square and supporting our tools when the ball hits the ground, that's probably one thing we need to work on. Um... That, that would be the main thing. Yeah, he's, he's working on our ground balls and, you know, our, our transition footy once we win it. You mentioned when we went through the fixtures that there's been a few upsets and 
it seems like anyone can beat anyone. You've obviously got to be on your toes for the last five games of the season to make sure you get the right results. Yeah, absolutely. If you're not at your best, you every chance to get beaten. Um, it's not too often I've seen in the year and two thirds that I've been at Greenacres that you can play at your best and not win. Um, so yeah, for us, it's just about bringing our best effort, uh, high level, high level of energy every week, and you know we're we're a chance to beat anyone if we can do that. Okay, thank you, Adam. I'm Todd Lewis from Fiasco Sports, reporting for the SA Football Magazine. Today I've been joined by Adam Vittler from the Greenacres Football Club in Division 5, and he's done our weekly roundup.